Hi, I am Peter Roloffs and I'm a trainer at Zeiss Meditech. Series 6000, the next generation OCT from Zeiss, delivers high-speed image capture with HD imaging detail and a wider field of view. For assessing the retina, Cirrus offers high-density cube scans as well as HD raster scans. This video will show you in a short form of how you can acquire a cube scan and a high-definition raster scan from Central Retina on the Cirrus 6000. Start by selecting an existing patient from the patient ID screen. Add a new patient or import a scheduled patient from the modality worklist if the Cirrus is connected with Forum. To acquire a scan for this patient, click on Acquire. Now you will see the Acquire screen. The following example will firstly show a macular cube scan 512 by 128 followed by an HD raster scan for the right eye. Under the appropriate eye, OD, select Macular Cube 512 by 128. Once the scan has been selected, the automated chin rest will go to the default position for the selected scan type and eye. Wait until the chin rest automatic positioning is complete before instructing the patient to place their chin on the chin rest. For the right eye, use the blue marked position. Ask the patient to rest their chin on the chin rest and their forehead against the forehead rest. Adjust the table up and down for correct high. Ask the patient to sit comfortably. Proper alignment of the patient eye to the marker is crucial to obtain a good scan. Instruct the patient to first look straight into the imaging aperture and focus on the green star fixation target as soon as he or she can see the fixation target. Ask them to blink naturally throughout the alignment process. Now start the alignment in the iris viewport. Center and focus the iris image using the controls to the right of the iris viewport. Center the iris image within the iris crosshairs by clicking in the center of the pupil. The chin rest will automatically move to the center of the eye. Try to get the iris as clear as possible before proceeding to the next step. Use the two lower big buttons in the iris viewport. This will bring the patient towards or away from the camera lens. Remind your patient to keep their chin down and to move with the chin rest. Now the next step. The fundus viewport displays the live fundus image, the scan pattern and the fixation target. After aligning the iris, focus the retina next. You can use the autofocus button or the adjust manually. The fundus should be sharp and clear and well illuminated. For optimal signal strength, now click on the optimize button. This will automatically enhance and center the OCT scans. A properly aligned scan is slightly above the center in each scan window. After you are satisfied with all previous steps, let the patient blink once again and click Capture. During fast track acquisition, after clicking Capture, a screen appears that shows the scan in progress and provides controls to make adjustments to help complete the scan. Once data acquisition is complete, scans must be reviewed for acceptance prior to being released for analysis. The Scan Quality Check screen appears automatically upon completion of data acquisition. To assist in scan review, the scan signal strength and the fundus image quality score is displayed on a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being maximum. Signal strength values less than 6 are generally unacceptable. A fundus image quality score 6 or above confirms that the quality is satisfactory to be used for a future scan. After assessing the scan, you can save the new scan, you can repeat the scan by clicking Try again, or you can save and a high-definition raster scan right away, for example an HD single-line scan. If you choose the last option, you are immediately back in capture mode. Make your choice for the HD raster scan pattern from the scan selector on top of the screen. 
You can see the HD raster scan pattern as overlay of the fundus image. Repeat the steps for focus and optimize if needed, like for the cube scan before, and capture the HD raster scan. Before you save the new scan, check the quality as before. Double click on the scan on the right side and the captured scan will appear in full screen view. Close the screen with a button in the right upper corner and save the scan. When you have finished recording, click Finish to exit capture mode and you will be directed back to the patient administration screen. Thank you for watching.